tonight, growing safety concerns among neighbors after two arsons at the same apartment complex in a month. The latest fire broke out at the Hunters Point Apartments yesterday morning. It comes as investigators search for the person who started another fire there on March 7th. Last month, we told you about three separate arsons within nine days of each other. Tonight, we know the latest arson caused $75,000 in damage. Luckily, no one was hurt. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is at the scene tonight where residents are still dealing with damage from the first arson. While people here are living in fear, you can still see significant damage remains from the first arson. Now we're learning of another one. They say they're worried it's going to happen again and someone's going to get hurt. Ah, what happened? Something's bothering this baby. And after this weekend, mom's not feeling any better. I feel scared because I have my family and everything. That's because police now investigating the second arson in four weeks at the Hunters Point apartment complex. It took 50 firefighters to put out the latest fire, which started around 4.30 yesterday morning. No one was hurt, but a small dog was rescued, and neighbors worry next time could be even worse. Someone's going to do harm one of the days to everyone in this place, and it's going to be so bad. Just last month, half a dozen families were displaced after a fire at the same apartment complex. It was one of three confirmed arsons within nine days. I've got a uh, single-story clubhouse, fully involved. On March 11th, police say someone intentionally set fire to the leasing center of the Avalon Heights apartment complex on Kelston Drive. And after that, police determined another arson at the Hudson Commons apartments in the university area. We asked CMPD if the latest arson is connected to any other crimes, but at this point they have not released any information about that and there's no word on any arrests. If they can find the pricing, that would be good. Police now asking anyone with information on the case to call Crime Stoppers. In Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.